for one of my projects i wanted to implement a collapsible and expandable filter something like this so if i click on this icon here it will collapse the whole filter section and at the same time it will expand the resources section all the way to the end and also it will create a button filter button here and if i click on it again it will bring back the filter section now I wanted to implement something like this in bubble so yeah as you can see uh, this is the this is where my filter section will go and this is the resources section uh, yeah for example if I if I collapse this if I collapse this uh, I can hide the section on the left and I can expand the section on the right till the end uh, till the edge of the end all right but there is no way right now uh, to using the conditional uh, statements using the conditional workflow if i click on the button there is no way that i can stretch the section on the right hand side so i researched a bit online for an answer uh, this is one of the questions that was asked four years back and yeah as you can see here uh, do you have a hiding rule set up in the purple group if so it should collapse in width however if it becomes hidden with a conditional statement i don't believe it will collapse in width so in my case i am using a conditional statement uh, with that uh, uh, button right so when i click on the button it should hide something similar that we are doing here so when i click on this it should hide now uh, and I looked at further comments down below right almost uh, all of them are looking like since four or five years the problem is still there um, yeah so as you can see from this comment it is indeed resolved with the new responsive engine so that is when I wanted to try this for myself so yeah i have tried this and it, it does work so let me show you how i can do that with you guys so i will create a new page here to activate the responsive engine I'll have to go to the responsive tab and upgrade uh, responsive it's a beta version it is not yet uh, available in production I believe okay now the responsive tab is uh, enabled so what I'll do I'll create a group here before I do that, uh, I'll change the layout of the page to row, okay, and the height, as you can see, this is 960 by 600, I'll make this 500, let me make it 600. Okay, I'll create one more group. Okay, so I will make this. Let me delete this. So I will make this as a column layout. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you why in a moment. I'll make this 100 in width, 100 in height. Okay, the width doesn't really matter. I just want to uh, keep this distance. Okay, this distance. Maybe I'll increase it to 200. I'll just center it. Okay. 
so we have a gap now i'll create one group where i will place all my filter elements okay so this is 200 this is 372 i'll make it 400 okay and i'll increase the width to 250 uh let me make this let me change it to 300 and also i'll make the width of this one 300 okay <coughs> now i'll just highlight this with a different color okay now let me create an icon here okay so i'll create an icon i will place it inside a group i will center it horizontally center it vertically okay now let us create our resource section and make the height to 600 okay then if you look at it the resource section kind of starts a bit below the filter so let me add this section here this is 200 so i will make something similar but make it okay i think this is a fixed width let me change it to column okay now i will change it to 300 i will need it to be that wide we'll just make it 100 and we get one more group okay i'll make it 300 okay so now I will just change the color to red. Okay, I will make it full width. So this is right now fixed. That is, let's change that to align, align to the parent and I will make it not fix width okay now let's make this one a little bigger in width so if you see i'll uncheck this okay now you can see this is expanding to the end now let us uh, preview this okay. <coughs> okay this is our section and this is our filter
maybe I'll reduce it to 250 and increase the size of this minimum size by 50 okay I'll make it by 10 ah sorry this is the height okay yeah so now let me place the this button okay so when i collapse this i want a button like this this is what i want to place it now okay let me place it there and create a small group I'll take an icon okay you you want to you may want to make these two buttons uh, look alike like similar dimensions but I'll not worry about that right now I will center it horizontally I will center it vertically now let me choose Uh, yeah, this is expand right back. Okay, let me choose this. Yeah, this is forward, I think. I'll choose a forward. I'll make the, yeah, that is okay for now. Let me choose the color for this one. I'll choose back. Okay, now let's preview. Okay, so now what we want to do is, when I click on this, this whole box should be hidden and initially it should be hidden when I load the page. Okay. So what I'll do when the page is loaded, I want it to be disabled, not visible. Okay. Then the second thing I want to do is when I click on the group, I'll start a workflow okay and i want to hide the group c okay and i want to show Okay, let's let's look at the name okay this is the group C that I have hidden and this group H I want to show okay let's look get this in action okay so when i collapse this okay it is still not being stretched this side okay for that to happen we need to check one more thing okay if i just hide this section okay this container will still occupy this space okay 
so now i have to uh, hide this entire group also when the group is hidden i need to collapse it collapse when hidden okay so now let us modify the workflow hide group a okay and <coughs> and show show the group d okay I'll click on the collapse button. Ah, I think I have. Let me look at the group. Okay, this is the group H. So I'll choose group H. Okay, when I collapse. Uh, this gets expanded and I can see this button. So now when I click on this one, I should bring back the filter. When I click on this, I'll start a new workflow. First thing, I need to hide the group H. Okay. And I need to show the group A okay collapse expand okay so you can so I would say we can th this looks almost similar to this one okay so I'll probably link this video somewhere here in the chat so other people can look it up i think there are still some people who are struggling with this issue thanks a lot guys and yeah see you in the next one thank you mm -hmm.